Well, that's a good sign. Anyway, we have a lot going on, boys. Yeah. Ooh. Danny Duncan's car still is waiting some parts. We got the tire for the Talon that Doug ruined. Here's the good and bad about today. Okay, the good. We got this lift. Let's talk about this first. This lift is something I wanted from day one. I'm just going to say it. Okay, I was begging for one of these for a long time. If Not you got, for if you got a shop, you need yeah. a lift. It doesn't matter what kind of shop, automotive, side by side, your house. You need a lift. It's a good piece of equipment to have. Not only for working on things, but in our case, for storage purposes. So you put yep. some stuff up in the air, you put some stuff underneath this thing, it's basically double your capacity. It adds up. So this is going to be super nice for, uh, like I said, not only for working on things, for putting stuff underneath when we got a full shop. And it's obviously required for the dyno that we're getting. Right. So good piece of equipment. Glad to have that in here. I'm with you. We've been out with we've been without one of these for far too long. Yeah, I was hoping to get one that was like way longer than this. But once you put it in here and look at it, you realize you really can't get one much bigger than here without killing a lot of space over here. So the dyno will hook up on this end, will be obviously much lower. Top of the dyno will probably be about right here. So you'll drive a car up in reverse. Right, go on to the dyno, run the dyno, we'll open this door for ventilation. But uh, yeah, you might also notice JP sporting some welds. I think we've shown these on a video before, but we didn't show you what it can do with these tires because the event at Houston got canceled. Tough break. Yeah, so we had this thing all queued up for, uh, for doing some quarter mile racing down in Houston. That obviously didn't pan out, but we're heading down to Florida today. Today's Monday, and Thursday there's a test and tune event at Bradenton Motorsports Park. So we're gonna have this thing down there. We've got the big dog quarter mile gear in it. Uh, radials out back. Should freaking rip. So yeah. excited to see what this dog is gonna do. Yeah, absolutely. So we got these badass weld RTS forged rims up front. We got these badass RTS forged bead locks out back on a 295-65-15 Mickey Thompson. Ichi Street R, big dog. Like these are huge tires. They don't look big on the car, but these tires are huge. Like if you have these on like a street car, these are insanely big. So the car is set up, 456 out in the back. We also got a new set of terror hooks for Danny Duncan's car. Part of the reason why we're not on the road yet is yeah. because some parts haven't showed. Here's the deal, this is, uh, I've come to the conclusion that just everything we do is last minute. And I don't know if there's anything that can be done about that. I'm gonna try when we get back from this trip, but you've got his car done, it's dialed in, it's looking sweet, except it doesn't have the right wheels on it yet. So those are showing up today. They were supposed to show up last Friday. I don't even know why it took that long. There's a certain shipping company that really dropped the ball as usual. But anyways, uh, yeah, we got some nice hostile wheels going on that thing. They really hooked us up for this build. So thank you, hostile wheels. We're also a dealer for hostile wheels now. So if you need anything, get a hold of us. We'll get you tuned in for those. Yeah, those are sweet. Jay Diesel yeah. had those on his uh, car. They look, they're gonna freaking set this machine over the top. They're gonna look killer on there uh, but yeah back to this yeah last minute everything so uh somehow they're all showing up today which i'm not going to get into detail that all that matters is they're going to be here please the talon wheel is going to be here so we're going to have the talon going with us and i don't know do we want to talk about this thing behind you or let's no? just let's just cut to the video clip from yesterday the both of them can we just show both of them yeah okay all right here's one Yeah, that sucker was ripping. Car looks great. Yeah, okay. It was hauling. Okay, okay. Show, show the next one. All right, second one. <laughs> what is that? Oh, is it blow by? <laughs> I think it's more of blown up than blow by. Nah, dude, she was pulling hard, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Hard, dude. Rick's exact words come shot. Oh no, it doesn't sound right. <laughs> 39 pounds of hoods, baby. It's not gonna man. Get some. 39? Oh no. Wait, what's the chance it's just full? Please be just full. She ain't very full, boy. Oh no, there's nothing coming out of there. I mean, it was kind of doing that before. Yeah, I was doing the same thing before. I mean, that much oil? <clears throat> Pull your intake off that. 
but here's the car. Listen, I already did one motor. I'm going home. <laughs> See you guys later. Oh my god. Okay. Yeah, here's yep. the deal. Not cool, guys. Not cool. So, you know what I call that, dude? Not Rockwood. Friggin' not good. Not good. <laughs> so yeah, straight up, Ghoul is uh, Ghoul needs a motor. So she's down on compression. She's uh, got a lot of blow by. Not good. So Ghoul's not going on this trip, unfortunately. Spent a lot of time trying to get this thing dialed in to go rip Durham Town because that's all I've been thinking about this past couple months. I'm really sorry. Ripping this out there. I'm really sorry, Rick. And guess what? That's not going to happen. But what is going to happen is a built motor for the ghoul. So, <laughs> oh my you thought gosh. the ghoul was freaking nasty before. It's nothing. It's nothing. Yeah, there's another uh, probably, I don't even want to say the number, how much more horsepower on deck with this. We're not, we're just going to let you guys think about it. All you wagsy guys out there that hate the ghoul. Ha <laughs> 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 ah! Wow, okay, so also we got some XRC wheels that I've been sitting on that were in the storage bin out here uh, forever. So these are gonna be spares for now, I guess my car and the talent on this trip. Uh, the ghoul is here, it's not going. It's puking oil uh, out of the catch can. So what likely happened is chunk the piston was doing way too much boost, making way too much power on a stock bottom end. And so it basically just uh, pressurized the crankcase and then all that pressure came out to here, which then shot oil out of the uh, ventilation system. Real bad deal. Hey, straight up 39 pounds boost. Not good for That's stock insane. motor. Built motor, more baby. <laughs> and so thank Mike Reed and Matt and you and everybody for putting their time in to get my car ready. So it's got a brand new uh, BCF cage New design on the cage, super awesome. It's also got a fresh double R motor. It's got a fresh turbo setup on it. Uh, it's gonna have Rick's dash so I can see the boost. And it's also got this badass Tesseract box. I'm not sure if this is gonna be going, so I don't really have time to mount it in there, but this thing's sweet. This is what Doug has in the back of Battlefield. What are these Love dogs? One of those dogs? Oh yeah, <laughs> snorks, man. So <laughs> Okay, so I got the three normal snorks. This one's not actually even hooked up anything. Uh, reason being, I got some, prototype level stuff going on here. You'll notice that's weird looking anyway. And we got this little fourth little alien head here <laughs> for the CVT duct. That's, I've done better work. I'll say that. I mean, that. I don't know if that's true, but people are gonna be getting gapped with snorks in this. Not too many times I've seen XMRs out there freaking motoring people with their snorks. Well, this isn't an XMR, but it does have snorks. A lot of people are going to get motored by this machine. This thing is running real good, real clean. <laughs> a lot of new parts. <laughs> so anyway, Matt was saying this is one of the weirdest cars. Okay, so it started out as an XDS, but it wasn't actually labeled an XDS. It was labeled an XRS. So started life as a 64, came with a 72-inch sticker, meaning therefore I had to put 72-inch suspension on it, and then I had to put XMR snorkels on it. Like these are factory done. Like, look at that. That's all factory level. Okay. Weird car. Is what it is, runs good. Gonna do some cool things down in Florida and Georgia. Think about it. Hardcore. And the last thing, dude, last, last but not least, we're taking all this corn syrup with us. Not fuel, this is corn syrup. A huge thanks to our friends at Renegade for hooking us up big time on a fuel deal for 2021. We're re-upped, so I'm happy about that. Yeah, this is good for probably two trips for us, so we go through a lot of this. Yeah, this is gonna be a fun trip though. I was uh, pretty, Pretty down as of yesterday, but I think uh, we're gonna have a good lineup. So we've got Danny's machine that's going, we've got the XRSDS, we've got Battlefield, we've got 268, we've got JP. And then on the other trailer, we've got the Talon, the Black and Orange Pro, the Buffalo. So you decided on the Buffalo? I decided on the Buffalo. I mean, if you guys decide that we don't wanna take it, I mean, we can do that. Buffalo's going, BA, dude. I'm going down there with three rigs behind my truck, so. Big fact. Big facts. And so other thing too, uh, these bins in the back, we had about five to 10 times, uh, we actually probably closer to 10 times as many of those filled with merch that all got shipped out over the weekend. So anybody who bought stuff from our first merch drop, it's in the mail. And then also we have another merch drop coming, let's say like what, two, three weeks, four weeks maybe? Yeah, Nixus is uh, finalizing the designs on those. Those are really cool. So looking forward to getting that stuff out. And like Leo was saying, thank you to you guys who bought all that merch. 
and we appreciate your patience on uh, receiving it. So a little bit of a, a growing pain, you know, the first merch drop that we did took a little bit longer than we would have liked to. But thank you for your patience, and I think you guys are really going to like the stuff uh, when we get it sent out. And big thanks to Battle Dad and Battle Mom for coming in and helping us Dude. with uh, getting that stuff shipped out. They took uh, several hours out of their lives to come help us do that, and they accepted payment in the form of McDonald's. So. Great people over Yeah, there. mixed chicken and a Sprite, dude. It's all you need. <laughs> I'm not sure why we're paying Matt. Anyway, uh, yeah, so I guess the rest of this video is going to be us getting stuff ready. We'll probably show the hostile wheels for Danny's when they show up. We'll get the talent all booked up. We'll get these uh, machines all cleaned up and loaded up and then get the hell out of here. Yeah, the, uh, the content as of lately, I know it's been a little bit slow, guys. But this trip, I mean, we're going to have a ton of action on this trip, so... Really appreciate you sticking with us for these last couple videos. I know it was basically just me and Leo arguing in most of the last two videos, which I mean is funny, but I understand I do enjoy it. you guys do want to see us riding. And there's going to be some real cool stuff happening in these upcoming videos. So uh, appreciate you sticking around for that. And uh, now we got to get to work getting all this stuff ready so we can actually make those cool videos happen. <laughs> all right, let's get it. So you know the deal, boys. <laughs> so had the motor not let go, in the ghoul i had something planned for the yxz and we got back so i'm just gonna go show doug now since it's cooked anyways and i'm gonna need his help to fix the motor so. <laughs> doug -a! Doug -a! hey i gotta show you something oh boy oh boy hey you remember that's, that it's always interesting when the day starts like this <laughs> Hey, remember that race we did with the YXZ and the Ghoul? Yep. And how it was a really good race? Yep. Yep. Well, I mean, I was planning on tipping the odds in my favor when we got back from Florida. Sure. Sure. Had the motor not let go, but... <laughs> uh, I don't know <laughs> what's funnier to me. <laughs> Okay, what? The fact that you guys are both pouring all your resources into your machines to try to beat the YXZ, which is not going to happen. <laughs> or the fact that you thought, I didn't know all of this was happening. <laughs> like, this, this is my zone in this shop. This is not a surprise to me. <laughs> I hope you guys are ready. When we get back. Oh no! Oh <laughs> no! Ready. I didn't show you. I'm down <laughs> We're gonna need you to rebuild the motor, dude. I hope you're ready. <laughs> Whew. Well, uh, no, honestly though, I'm excited. What one is that, Rich? That's uh, it's pretty much the same one that's on there uh, internally. It's the 68 millimeter version of that, which Beast Mode has the, uh, it's the what, 72. Yeah. Just has the new updated uh, compressor housing on there, so a little bit more flow. Yeah, I like Big that. Big dog inlet. So. Yeah, that's pretty cool. So this should, this style inlet should stop a lot of that compressor surge that you heard. Heck yeah, another man. one. Shoo, she's a beautiful piece. <laughs> turbo, <laughs> dude, I like turbo. What do you want me to do? I don't know. I mean, I, see them, I, want them. It I mean, it seems like the motor decided to give up at a good time. Listen, I wanted <laughs> the turbo. The motor didn't want the turbo, dude. That's. Deal. Something uh, happened. The motor will want the turbo soon. That's so. a good point. Heck yeah. Well, congratulations on your new child here. I like I how you it grabbed it like a baby too. <laughs> just put it up in your arms. <laughs> <laughs> What's good about this too is uh, it's basically just a trade-in. Yeah, the evil at. guys took care of us on this one. So. Yep, I like that. They said, ah, the ghoul, uh, the YXZ, uh, ghoul's got to be out front. I've given all my surprises away to Douglas. He's got 1,700cc <laughs> injectors on the way. He's got a billet diff on the way. He's got a freaking Marion tuning on the way. Dude, ah, rolling anti like you, YXD. Are you getting rolling anti like What the hell? That's a thing? Uh, anyway, uh, so what else we got going on? We talked about most stuff. My diff is leaking, like, incredibly. Just filled it last night, and it leaked probably four ounces out. This is what's left over of uh, Rick's oil. That's all gone. A lot of washing. <laughs> Things have been better, but that's okay. What are you gonna do? We'll be all right. Still waiting on wheels and all that stuff. Oh, uh, look at that. Garrett's calling me. Let's talk to him quick. All right. Please. Hey, what up? Dude. All right, here's the deal. A few minutes later. 
Real rare sight. Jeez, oh man, you know things are friggin' goofy. Hey, so what's that deal we're doing on the uh, parts site for the yeah, month of so April? Starting uh, April 1st, month of April, this is an April Fool's deal. We are, is it 150 bucks? 150 okay, bucks or you more. Spend over 150 bucks on the parts store, side by side blogparts.com, you get entered into a chance to win one of six rare. This is it, one of six in the world. Uh, Piston and rod assemblies out of the old 2JZ block. So that's the one that blew up. Parts hit Doug in the face. Cut to that video real quick. You guys all remember that. That was real, real bad. Uh, cost us roughly $25,000. Anyway, moving forward, we are giving you a chance to win uh, one of six of those assemblies or a chunk of the block if you uh, buy parts from SideBySideBlogParts.com. Over 150 bucks, use the code, what is it? 2JP. Yeah, use the code 2JP. The number two, the letter J, the letter P, that'll give you $20 off, that'll give you free shipping and it'll enter you into the drawing. Uh, on that, so don't forget all that. You save a little bit of money and you get a chance to have something that no one else has. Not even Matt is gonna get one of those. You gonna spend 150 bucks on the site? Probably not. Yeah, uh, exactly. <laughs> don't don't be like this. Matt. Yeah, so if you need a, a set of harnesses, a D3 harnesses, you need a belt for your CVT driven machine, you need anything that we sell, some habit goggles, that'll get you up to 150 bucks, no problem. And uh, Doug probably doesn't want to give those away, does he? Uh, what's that? The one of six piston and rod assemblies from the 2JZ block. We're doing it month of April. Spend over 150 bucks in the block part store. You get a chance to uh, win that back. All right, that's cool. That's cool. No, I'm, I'm down for that. Yep. I'm down for that. Those are nice pieces. Doug got the actual block for like a grinding oh, fixture. Yeah, so, I mean, <laughs> Doug, <laughs> yeah. Doug's all right. He can, he can live without it. This is something that you can't let yourself forget. You got to always remember what you've done when you've done something like that. So, we got a piece. Point. But yeah, piston rod, pits, pistons and rods can go. That's cool. That's a nice little wall hanger for sure. Yeah, Doug's, I don't know if Doug wants those anymore. Yeah, One of them almost hit him in the head, you know. It's... <laughs> the main bearing that hit me in the head, I keep on my desk <laughs> for a reminder as well. Yeah. Uh, also, Rocky Mountain, dude, for the month of April, we'll do the same thing that we did in January, where if you spend any amount of money on Rocky Mountain, you'll get a chance to get that entire refund or entire purchase price refunded to you. All you have to do is just buy through the affiliate link in the YouTube description below. So uh, yeah, I think the last time we did that in January, the guy got like a $558 glass windshield uh, fully refunded to him from us, which was awesome. Yeah, so, that's, uh, that's, that's that. a lot of money. Yeah, big dog. So hey, buy yourself a nice set of wheels and tires, buy yourself a glass windshield, buy whatever. Yes. Could be free. You get the Rocky Mountain guarantee on all the stuff, whatever that is. You get uh, great shipping prices and you get a chance to win it back and uh, support us in the and while doing so, hey, what's go wrong? Slam dunk. Slam dunk. Triple right. win. Doug, get over here. It's time to wash up, buddy. Uh, uh. Doug's getting his monthly shower, dude. Get over here. <laughs> <laughs> Thank God, dude. It's here. FedEx has come through. Dude, sometimes. Oh, I had to pull some strings. Sometimes it's not what you know, but it's who you know. And uh, made a little call, dude. Someone helped us out. Please be here. Please. Oh, 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 thank gosh, dude. This build is about to be wrapped. We've got the last piece of the puzzle. Thank Matt for this. Dude, there is not a time in which things don't just come together at the last minute for us. It always happens that way. Don't get too close to the car. Come on, please. Open one up. So these are from our friend Mike Hostile. These are the same wheels that Jason Diesel had on his paddles and Glamis. Couldn't think of a better wheel to match this build that you guys are gonna see. It is so legit. Talon getting washed up. Matt's mounting the new rim. Tire. Huge thanks to ITP for getting us another spare tire, dude. Super awesome. Please, please. Oh my. That is a beautiful wheel. Oh, yeah. Wow. That is going to look great on there. Wow. You've got some other, uh, you, you guys are just going to see it. I mean, it's going to gonna really complete the look of the car. Wow. Wow.
man huge thanks to hostile dude yeah big shout out to mike for getting this uh getting us set up with this we were kind of last minute for wheels and uh got a hold of him a couple weeks ago he was immediately on board so yeah big shout out to the hostile guys like i said we sell these things now so if you need a set hey, let us know we'll get you dialed in look at that man, like look that? at those things <laughs> look at all the machining that's so <laughs> cool. cool yeah it's gonna match uh, some other components on the car pretty excited about that so Whew. all right uh, we'll keep going here we've washed the town we got the buffalo wash we got mine wash like i said matt's doing a tire we got jp down jp's good to get out of here and uh yeah wow still chugging one eternity later see all that dust see all that dust that's what happens when you try to just have a nice day next thing you know you get dusted yeah a lot of dust around here. what do you think bud man it's uh it's after five o'clock and we're getting ready to leave for florida not the most opportune time to head on out but guess what we're doing it. We're doing it. What do Ideally, you think? Ideally, we would have been on the road five hours ago, but you know, I'm happy overall. We got quite a fleet of units here. This is going to be like, I don't know if this trip has set in yet. No. What we're about to embark on is just a week full of just action packed adventure. It's, right. it's going to be crazy. It's going to so, be crazy. This is what we got, dude. Let me get out of the sun here so you guys can see what's going on. Okay. We got the Talon. You know what? You love it. Jackson Racing Turbo. Tough. Battlefield, you love it. Nick Seuss, 268, you love it. Day Duncan's car. Oh shoot, a lot of Red Bull there. <laughs> Big teaser. Anyway, oh, look at that. Buffalo, probably the cleanest it's ever been since it was new. Still leaking water. That's how clean it is. XRSDS, freshly rebuilt. Hopefully it doesn't blow up. Two JP, and then the uh, Pro Two seat. Great lineup. I mean, so epic can we, lineup. Can we just quickly run down the lineup of activities that we're heading towards. Yeah, let's Give hear about it. Give you guys a little little feeler for what's ahead. So once we drive down to Florida, we're ripping with Danny Duncan. We're delivering the Danny Duncan build. Huge thing. Been working on it for months. Came out really cool. So that's going to be a wild day. Also, we're going to the drag strip with Cletus and crew. We're running two JP. Full day of drag racing with that bad boy. And then we got the Freedom 500. Nick Seuss racing in the Freedom 500. Crazy. After that, we got Cletus and cars. Who knows what's happening there? All I don't even know. Crazy stuff. After that, we're going to a place called the Sandlot and we're all ripping. And that's going to be crazy. That place is absolutely massive. It looks like they got a bunch of tracks. Can go do a bunch of racing there. That's going to be cool. Also, we're going to go back to Durham Town on our way home. Like, this is <laughs> insane. If everything survives. We're gonna hit Durham Town on the way home. It's this is gonna be wild. This is maybe the biggest trip we've ever gone on. If the machines survive, I don't know if I'm gonna survive. <laughs> That's a good point. Just Think about so it. much. Big trip. So Big yeah, trip. We've done what we can do. We got the trucks packed, loaded up. Everything's in good shape. We got a lot of tools. We got a lot of parts. We got ourselves. Nick Seuss. We don't have him yet, unfortunately. Scheduling issues. He has to fly down tomorrow and meet us down there. So uh, I don't have a travel partner. But what you gonna do? We'll make it. I just realized something. We have the wrong straps on the front of JP. I got the right straps. They're you packed. brought them. Got them. My God. What um, does he not forget? <laughs> Nick Seuss. Where is he at? Think about that. You forgot <laughs> Nick Seuss, bro. Don't say that. I'm sure we forgot something. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, yeah. Woo. Sorry about the uh, lack of content recently, boys, but guess what? We've been grinding. I've been working. All right, look at this. I can prove it right now. Straight up. Look at those knuckles, dude. My knuckles never look like that. I got a rash, I think, too. Anyway. We, we, were, we were so behind and just thrashing so hard to get ready for this trip. We just didn't actually have time to film it. But going forward, it's going to be nothing but action. So. Yep, I like that. Hey, Matt, you can be in the videos now. Come on. What? Are you serious? Yeah, you yeah. have to be. Didn't you read the oh, employee cool. handler? Oh, that's There's... my foot. <laughs> oh, jeez. Oh, close. You're back out of the videos. <laughs> <laughs> How quick was that? So what do you uh, got uh, planned this week, Matt? Think about it. Oh, you know, got some work to do and... Gotta fix up some your stuff that's broken. Yeah, mud life, big <laughs> deal there. Pro two seat, broke yeah, a drive shaft, yeah. tough break. So Matt's not gonna make this trip with us. He's gonna stay back and hold the port down and uh, try to get everything in order here. So when we get back, we can hit it hard, be on the right foot, hopefully not bring a bunch of broken stuff back with us and we can just get to making cool things. Hey, we no. call that job security around here. You better hope there's some broken stuff. <laughs> Dude, sometimes there's rock wood and when you get back and everything's broken, that's called not, not good. good. <laughs> <laughs> I knew Doug would do it, I knew it. The setup on that was awesome. Anyway, all right, thanks uh, everybody. Seriously, straight up. Yeah, you guys, uh, this is like, I, we've been doing this for a while and I'm still blown away when we load these trucks up with all the stuff that we've been able to bring together here. It's incredible. I'm beyond excited. So uh, just a little 19 hour jaunt down to Bradenton, Florida. <laughs> We've done it many times. We'll yep, do it again, dude. Nothing. We'll put the stuff to use. Yep. All right. Rich, you got anything for us? Hey, uh, 
this the end of the video? I don't know. Yeah, man. This, yeah, we're leading to it. Okay. This is it right now. Call it. You didn't do a very good lead in. See, I thought this what was are you the beginning about? of the That's video. That's what I was saying. So I was all out of. All are you out guys of serious? Yeah. This was the end of today's video. All right. Well, anyways. Wait, really? You didn't think? I don't know what's going on with your yeah, videos, that's, dude. Okay, that's a good point. Sorry. <laughs> all right. Well, we appreciate you guys watching all these videos, liking, subscribing, donating on Patreon, buying the parts on the parts site, buying from Rocky Mountain. Rocky Mountain also, and uh, also buying the merch. You guys should have that stuff in your hands real soon. Nice stuff. So it keeps us out here doing all that stuff. It means a lot. Wouldn't rather be doing nothing else in the world than what we're doing right here. That's a fact. So Big facts. Stay tuned for some real cool stuff that's coming up. And yeah, it's gonna hit hard. I'll guarantee it. Yeah, it's gonna hit super oh, hard. Rich guarantee. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> Straight up rich rules, baby! <laughs> Have we had a rich guarantee yet? I don't think we've seen that before. <laughs> this is unprecedented. All right, see you guys. See you. Bye, Matt. Hey, see hey, you in like ten days. Hey, safe travels. Twenty-four hours later. Ah, <laughs> uh, yes! <laughs> Look at that voice. The only one in the whole world. We're doing it right now. Oh man, stupid Google Maps took me to some place called Diesel Dogs. They don't know I'm driving a freaking gas truck. I don't know what they're doing. <laughs> We're here, little big We're nose. We're so far out of the way. We've got a lot invested in this. The store better be great. <laughs> we <laughs> dog starts the best ever. <laughs> spend six hundred eighty-two dollars on the big dog. Sorry, it's a great day. You guys day. are on ramen for the rest of the <laughs> ridiculous. <laughs> There's only one, dude. There's only one big dogs. This is it. Pigeon Forge, dude. This is it. All right. We honestly were probably four hours out of the way to get here, which is a tough break, but. Unfortunately, yeah, our ETA to the airport is now about 1 a.m. Yeah, <laughs> which Nick is Sue, sorry, an buddy. hour after. Get Nick yourself Sue's a bird. Line, so. <laughs> oh, oh, it just got delivered. I'll get the door for him, dude. A shirt like this needs to have its own big personal dog. delivery guy. Literally a big dog. That's it. Oh, that's my it. God. Man. Get it out, Rich. Get it out. I got it, dude. All right, man. <laughs> I'm glad to see we get a real nice box. That was a real nice box for a shirt shipment. Whoo! <laughs> <laughs> this is so ridiculous. This is so stupid. Is so All right, ridiculous. what does it say? What does it say? <laughs> Bunker branding. $1,000 t shirt. Price. <laughs> French fries all over. <laughs> oh my gosh. Do I be careful with this? Do I no, just put it on, man. Know. Just maybe don't weld with it. But... <laughs> <laughs> this is the one. Oh no, we broke Doug, dude. <laughs> we broke This Doug. is the one you guys are telling everyone about here? Yeah. <laughs> hey, while you're working, we bought stuff. All right, well, yeah, remember when Doug says, yeah, we're going to have to take it cards away from Rick. <laughs> hey, listen, I didn't buy the shirt. This was my idea, straight up. It's a good idea. I don't even want to let it touch my skin, dude. <laughs> I can feel she's going to fit real nice, though. Wow. <laughs> Whew. Unbelievable. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like...